So either Spyro is trying to hawk the hell out of a loogie into this swamp here, or maybe he's just happy to see us. Welcome back to Spyro the Dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz, and we are now back completely up to snuff with all of our gems and dragons to be saved. And it literally only took me a mm, couple minutes. <laughs> not that long. Also, why am I talking like that? It's not very enjoyable, so I don't know why I'm doing it, but... Anyway, we are done with the Beastmaker's world, and we can now move forward. And this is all good business, because I'm done with this place. I thought it was going to be kind of cool, because look at this place. It just, uh, it reminds me of just platformers of yore, and I just mashed the hell out of the R2 there. And, um, oh yeah, last time we took out Metalhead, and we did a wild, wild run of flying and things. So, let's head over to Dreamweavers. I don't think it's been explicitly stated yet in the context of the game, but it is in the manuals, and I think this is the second to last world that we're heading to. So, Mr. Cray Cray, take us on over to the Dreamweavers, because I'm ready to get my dream on with all of these static, fiery flames and things. And it will be good. So welcome to January 23rd. This is probably going to be the last video I record for a little bit. Um, but at this point, I mean, it's probably sometime in February, and you guys are still seeing everything every day, and by god, the lag in this is horrendous. <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of January 23rd, we have 23 lives, and, um, yeah, there we go. So something that I realized, actually, when I was going through, was that, um, oh my god, okay, <laughs> Earthworm Jim over here? Um, we didn't rescue any eggs at all in the last part, in, in the last level, in any capacity. Also, we have a couple different ways to go. Uh, we'll go this way, maybe. We'll try over here. This man, this large man with the metal apron, he is not very happy to see us. Jesus Christ, now we've got Phineas over here. Or Ferb. I don't know. I cannot believe how apparently big that show is for kids. That's like, it's insane to think that that's like the cartoon that everybody is watching as a child in this new generation of things. I can't even remember what ours was. It was like something on Nick or or Cartoon Network at the time. What the shit? Oh my god. Matsi? How's it going, Mr. Matsi? The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds alright to me. What? Wait, the what? The goons? Is that what you said? Invincible goons also? Oh, we have terraforming asshole joker wizards! Hey, bitch, get over here! I don't want to deal with the nonsense. Okay, so for a certain period of time, he'll stop that. I see. I hope this does not become a thing later on. Whew, alright, so let's go grab this. And not fall into the water that seems to be moving really fast. Uh, so our first level here is Haunted Towers. We're going to have to come all the way back here later, which is fine by me, because it looks like we can get back here pretty easily. And, yeah. I mean, we could always just go there first, and then finish this off later, but it'll annoy me to be all off numbers and things, so... I will never know when we are up to speed. Even though it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter at all. And this just takes us back to start. Alright, so this kind of reminds me of the Magic Crafters world, but way more pastel -y. It's like the color scheme of Easter. Not a big fan of Easter. Also, get out of here. Phineas and or Ferb. I don't even remember which one was the redhead one. Somebody can probably <laughs> remind me in the comments, but... Because I, I don't think I've ever seen an episode. I just know my sister had watched it. Okay, there's somebody shooting shit, and it's changing. This guy right there with his... Is that a cannon he's shooting on? Or something? <laughs> Maybe that's not a cannon. That flesh-colored uh, dong is... Very nice. Okay. Oh, and there's a level right here. Dark something. Dark something. This actually kind of seems like they're going to be cool levels. Dark Passage. So we have Dark Passage, Haunted Towers. I think I might actually like this level a lot. Just something about more, like, Ursatz levels. Oy. All right, they just do me good, man. All right, you're dead. Alright, and these guys. Can we hit these guys? They're big, and they're like slapping their their dicks. They're just like, hey, check it out, man. I've been flaccid all day. Oh, shit. Now they're slapping me with those same hands. <laughs> and those noises. Jesus. <laughs> alright, alright, Donkey Kong. Cool your jets. Alright, so there's stuff over here. 
Should we go check this out before moving on? They're blocking something. Maybe it's this way? Oh, and that guy died. <laughs> what a jokester. Alright. Oh, I destroyed all of those. Very nice. Very convenient. Alright, sir. What is your name? Mr. L Latif. Oh my god. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. I really do not like the sound of that. If they're going to be pulling some shit where I'm going to have to be looking around randomly for things. And Lofty Castle. Damn. I'm getting some pretty hefty... What? What is that? Uh, God damn it. Uh, the Hollow Bastion vibes from Kingdom Hearts out of these names here. This might actually be a pretty sweet world. I'm excited. I'm excited. Alright, there's a floating island there. Maybe we can get on top of that. But nothing else over here. Also, floating balloon! We should go give him a visit and see if we can actually go over there. That would be pretty neat, right? Alright, so we should probably take care of that guy. Because... Oh my god, you're making him big! Stop it! Stop! God, those noises are really absurd. Alright, we'll go over here, and I think those floating platforms lead right up to him. Maybe in some capacity. We will explore that later, but first... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Jacques, are you kidding me? Jacques? Jesus Christ, it's like we have all of these like epic people like Metalhead and Dr. Shemp and Toasty. Now we have <laughs> Jacques. Jacques the man who we must kill. Alright, what do you got for me? Amos. Nice. Nice job collecting so much stolen trip. Oh, are we already able? Nasty's world is not the most friendly place you will find. Okay, we will not go there yet, even though we could beat the game right now. Wow. I wonder if those have, like, levels of their own. Like, probably? Kind of like three levels and- Oh, you son of a bitch. No. Don't do that. Don't fail. Alright, you're dead. Whoop! Okay. Consequential. Didn't care. Don't need sparks. We're good. You can have the rest of the day off for all I care. He's got a couple of six days. Six days. And, yeah. Go. Go enjoy your time. Alright, so we're missing quite a bit of stuff. Um, I guess we could probably murder this guy if he doesn't turn us to magic mush. Peace out, my <laughs> bitch. Alright. So we will go take care of these guys. I, I, I have a feeling this is going to be really annoying coming back to this world every single time. Because enemies will respawn after you leave and... Oh wow, nice. They'll respawn after you leave and if they spawn like this again every single time... Wait, you missed? Okay, I didn't realize it would be so easy to miss. Okay. So you do have to get on the other side. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. I'm just woo, stuck. Spyro doesn't know how to aim a cannon correctly. Alright. This guy right here, this asshole. Oh, and there's stuff up there. Okay, so that hits him. Let's see this guy. So are they just down for the count now? Or are we good? Can I get out of this? Thank you. Alright, so let's go get the rest of those guys murdered and talk to Zikomo. Zikomo! Hello, Spyro. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't okay, get cocky, Star Fox. Jesus. Alright, well, I guess we can go back this way. Can I get some health? Maybe? I'm pretty sure there was some over here. I just don't want to accidentally talk to those guys on the off chance that I'm going to get murdered. Alright, so there was two of them. Oh, there we go. Alright, I was like, but only one, one thing came out. And that guy has only himself to blame for that. Okay, so this is just this part. God damn it. Thought I could go back around. Thought I could be efficient. Get out of my way. <laughs> don't block me, man, with your cock. It's not very nice. I don't appreciate it. Oh boy. So I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. I'm not sure who's really itching for, you know, a Spiral Let's Play in 2016. But, um, for what it's worth, I hope whoever's watching, hey, you got a kick of it. Because I feel like we're about to end things off here pretty soon, so... Man. Oh, and speaking of which, today is the first day that the series starts airing. So that's actually kind of cool. So you guys are going to be seeing the first episode as I'm recording this. I think it's actually... Going up in about an hour here, noon, noon o'clock, so 
Yeah, it's gonna be fun business. God, this water is a maverick. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of exciting. I've still only edited about eight or nine episodes, so I'm a little bit behind. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to change that up here pretty quickly. But I don't work tomorrow, and I fell off the edge, of course. I don't work tomorrow, so that's really nice. I started writing my schedule down because uh, the thing I really hate about work, like in particular, is you don't know your schedule more than five days in advance. So it's like every week you find out when the next time you work is. And I thought I had to work again tonight. And so I was like resigning myself to like, oh fuck, I really didn't want to have to work. Turns out I was just writing the other schedule on accident. Uh oh, what are you doing? It is, oh, rotating platforms. I see. God damn, this guy looks so stupid. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have to work until tomorrow night. Hooray! So I can finish recording this maybe, and then no, I won't finish recording this. That would be, that would be bad. I will. I'll probably do it next week, and then just edit and be all up to date. God damn. All right, move out of the way. Excellent. Many things. God, they gave me like 35 right there. Christ. And here we have it. Oh boy, what is this? Okay, so wait, 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 don't show me. We've had Crystal Flight, Wild Flight, Sunny Flight, and Night Flight. And in a place like this, I feel like it would be like... Mm, dream Flight? Uh, Spyro Darkness Flight? <laughs> and it's Icy Flight? What? That makes no sense. Unless there are ice levels, but I can't imagine a place called... You know... Dreamweavers to be associated with ice. Also, I think we're missing a 10 piece somewhere. Somewhere along the rainbow, along the, the forgotten path, we had lost a yellow gem that has been lost in translation forever. I'm assuming it was probably one of these guys, but it doesn't appear to be the case. What the hell? Where, where could I be missing one? Did I miss a chest? Well, maybe it's up here. Maybe I just need to take a better path and not miss one. Oh, and the search begins with the lost yellow gem, of course. Or it could be two blue gems or a multitude of other combinations that I don't want to rattle off. And I would like to ideally find them now so that later I'm not like scrambling to find it by killing all of the enemies and hoping I got the right one. Over here? No. And you can't kill those guys, can you? I... it, it kind of seemed like that they're there to stay. So, wait a minute, wait a minute! Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you... <gasps> there it is! Okay, so let's just head over to the haunted house. That might be it. I might have just left it there like a dummy. Oh, it's just on the side! Well, hopefully there's another one there. Otherwise I'm SOL. Right? Yeah. Pretty SOL, dude. Oof. So, my name's Allison Cruz, and I hope you guys enjoyed this section, this session, this episode. Next time, we're going to be heading into the Haunted Towers with our newly collected array of 300 golden gems, and we will be taking on Haunted Towers. It's kind of exciting, actually. Something called Haunted Towers? And I will make sure to save on screen. This may or may not be the biggest mistake of my life, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, God damn. Those fairy cleavages are insane. Alright, I'll talk to you guys next time. Hey, hassle, get out of here. Leave. <laughs>